I was super excited. Hey, hey there. My shirt says Taco Cat backwards. It's still Taco Cat. That shit is true. Um, I saw some uh, Hangul Korean, and I was gonna flex my ability to sound out and not understand Korean because I can I can read decent slowly. I read like a two year old baby. Um, and then I saw, oh, it's shit. It's like a paragraph of Hangul, so. Mm, not gonna do that, but I'll read the uh, hashtags. It looks like Ongi Su Ongi Su Jumping. Oh, Jumping. Jumping. So, what's the first one? Hiss. Oh, that's Hiss. Ha. Hiss. Oh, Hiss. Hiss. He's, he's, he's jumping. Well, whatever. I told you I, I suck at Korean, but at least, do you know how long it took me to be able to memorize almost all of the letters? I don't have it. I mean, I've got all the consonants and stuff done. It's the compound vowels I'm still really stuck on. And I don't know how they work sometimes when one follows another and all that, and especially the I don't even, I don't know how to say it. But the one that's sometimes an R and sometimes an L. If you've tried to learn Korean, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's uh, make this full screen. Let's hear some dope shit. We well, got the turntables on the back left, and does that Pro Tools on the right? I don't know. I don't use Pro Tools, man. I use Ableton. Let's go. Jajane, Moe. Already dope, we have a pedal tone on the bass. Pedal tone meaning it's static when the melody moves around it. How do we know that there's a melody moving around it? Because the vocals actually, it's doing a scalar idea, but we can tell from the half steps and whole steps, just true for any scale, that there's actually some chordal movement in there. Hey. Hey. I do not work for Lay. You can tell. But just how slow this vibe is, I love the track Lay released called Lit. I if if you like slow but with a badass beat, I would I would check out Lit Man by Lay. It just came out. Oh, hell yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Respect. That was good. That was that was solid. This is this is very good all the way around. Very very how how limited is my fucking vocabulary? This is very very good. It's very good. But it is though. It's fucking straight fire. Man, I'm so drunk, he's something. Oh, those are uh, marching military drums. And I also like the um, envelope filter effect he's doing on his own voice. Uh, an envelope filter... Uh, it's when you change the amount of a frequency that is reaching the output. A wah-wah pedal is an envelope filter, basically, that you control with your foot. Hey!
What was it? I just heard it again. I heard it a second, like 30 seconds ago. This one note of harmony. I'm backing up. What the fuck? Right there. The dum was in a harmony of at least thirds. It might have been a whole chord. Just on one note. This is fantastic. They're actually kind of trading places. I'm trying to keep track of who's doing what. They're kind of tracing, ch changing uh, positions in the group as far as who's doing what. So when he's going like, boop, 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 I can't go up high enough. But you know what I'm saying? Boop, boop, boop. That's actually a metronome. Boop, boop. If we make it one note. Boop, 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 boop. But he's moving. Boop. So he's a timekeeper and everyone else can go nuts because he's keeping the time. And then he trades off and he goes a little crazy while someone else is holding the time by being a really static bass or something. So there's always a timekeeper present, but it's kind of rotating through the group. Hey. That's what happens, man. That's what happens on anything. It's when you get a little glimpse. Um, obviously, there's simpler things, like a candy bar. You eat a candy bar, there's no deep thought. You're just like, candy bar, and you eat it. But on other things that can be difficult or challenging to either pursue. Oh, by the way, that's dope as fuck. I think I made that clear. Dope as fuck. Um, but... It's like a complex video game or an instrument, depending on like, you know, or an, or an athletic endeavor. As you begin to unlock it, as you begin to progress a little bit, and that doesn't mean necessarily mental understanding, right? It could be as simple as you listen to jazz and you're like, jazz fucking sucks. And you listen later and you're like, jazz sucks. And you listen later, jazz sucks. And then you listen again and you're like, this is kind of dope. That transition where all of a sudden you hear something you didn't hear before, but you don't know, you don't necessarily know that you're hearing something. You know that you feel different hearing it. Then the, the fucking tops off. Now you're like, all right, hold on, bring me some more of this. But it's the same, it's the same thing with me listening to these beatbox things, man. I'm gonna be straight up. Like, I don't think I've listened to any beatbox shit and like, psh, before this, the, these videos, I don't know how long ago we started doing this, like uh, three weeks ago, a month ago, I'm not, I'm not sure. But it's probably been 15 years since I listened to beatboxers or something. And so like now all of a sudden when one of them touches me a certain way, touch the, touch the doll where the beatboxer touched you. All of a sudden I'm like, oh, I can go get some more of that. Let me go find some more of that. And then you have this positive feedback cycle. It's an addiction cycle, right? It's addiction, but it's an addiction for good. So just like a gambler may play poker or roulette or blackjack, and they get that high from gambling, and now they're like, I want to gamble all the time. You can have the same thing with athletic endeavors, with mental endeavors, where as soon as you put forth some effort on your part, and just put it in, just put it on your, your headset or put it in your earbuds and listening is effort. When you put in those actions and you get a payoff, 
now the cycle starts. You're like, oh shit, let me go get some more of that. Yeah. It's like the dude being like, oh, I was bobbing this bebop and bebop. Beatboxing. Um, and then just like took over. That's shit, how shit goes. Which by the way, bebop, man, is a really badass style of jazz where everything is fast as fuck. Like super fast. Um, something I also got addicted to. Where like they took ideas that were already hard. You already had to be a badass to do them. And then they just ramped it up to lightning speed. So like it'd be like Well actually that sounds like fucking bluegrass, because I'm doing bluegrass runs. But anyways, they're playing like steady sixteenth notes, but like every, like chords are changing every beat. So it's like chord, 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 chord. And then badasses like John Coltrane were like, let's do chord, 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 new key, chord, 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 new key, chord, 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 new key. And so if you're not a master, you can't play. You can't keep up. Like, it doesn't matter how fast you are. If your brain isn't as fast as your hands, you can't you can't play. So like that's the process of evolution we find, I think, pretty much on every instrument. It doesn't really matter if you go back to singing, but complex singing we don't really hear on the, on the radio. Complex singing goes back, I would say, to Notre Dame in um, the 13th century. Dude, this, some of the shit they sang back then is uh, absurd. Um, so complex. I will tell you right now, I'll tell you 100,000% right now, this is not a fucking joke. The shit they sang in 1300 to 1400, far more complex than anything you ever gonna fucking hear on Spotify. It's like not even close. It's not, dude, it's not fucking close. It's not a close race. It's just society kind of went away from that. But super, super uh, complicated contrapuzzle lines with singing. And guitar has gone that way, right? We have areas of guitar like jazz and classical that are like, crazy elevated and now we have kind of similar guitar playing so we went through an era in like the 80s and 90s with like metal right so rock turned into metal and then we had a bunch of blazing fast players who were badass but then it had to go somewhere else and now we have people like um sorry guitarists i don't remember your names but like people up in snarky puppy and papadocio uh who are just like trailblazers playing cool guitar shit and we have the same thing now it appears in beatbox that we have um some elevation of the game draws people in people who are younger and they want to develop even higher and then you have people who are currently in the game and they don't want to lose their spot so they are forced to push uh and then the the entire craftsmanship of the genre goes up but here's the thing that is always true it's always true. There's always a reaction to a movement. Now it could be three years, five years, 10 years, but there's always a reaction to a movement, right? Like the reaction to heavy metal music was grunge. The, the reaction to like Bon Jovi and Poison and Cinderella and shit like that was Nirvana. Then there was a reaction to that, which became like Corn and Linkin Park and shit like that. So like same thing with rap, right? Kanye West was actually a reaction to like gangster rap in the mid nineties. Kanye West was a different type of, of rap. And now we have a reaction to that, which is more like the Amigo style, uh, DaBaby and Gunna. So it's like constantly whatever music is currently present whatever music is constantly uh, um, ubiquitously in people's ears the people who are creating hear that some are attempting to ride the wave and others are sick of it and they're making something new and then it all shifts again and that has been true for as far as my knowledge of history definitely I can go back to uh, 13th century and trace that shit a hundred percent. I never thought uh, music history would fucking come in handy. That's a long fucking class, bro. That's one year of solid fucking history. That's some boring shit sometimes. But it turns out, holy fuck, it like actually 
is useful because it turns out that guitarists, rappers, beatboxers are all part of a development of music. And if you can spot how things have worked in the past and then you can spot them in the recent... So if you, if you can spot shit from 500 years ago and then now you can spot it from 50 years ago and then 20 years ago, then you go, holy shit, I'm in it right now. How can I see it? Elvis Presley, old ass Elvis Presley was a response to country folk music from the 30s and 40s. The Beatles are a response to like the rock of Elvis style, even though, you know, the Beatles are across the pond, right? Led Zeppelin is a reaction to the Beatles. Metallica is a reaction to Led Zeppelin. Now, not necessarily specifically those bands, but those genres, right? We can keep bouncing through time. Now, it's easy to just see it as a development, but it's not just a development. It's a fucking reaction because you could choose to just copy. And we see that. In every genre, there's people that just copy. And some people go, you know what? I'm sick of even copying this shit. I want to do something new. So. Hey, it looks like I talked to y'all for like 16 and a half minutes. Sometimes just the right amount of beer and whiskey is perfect. I hope if you drink alcohol, I hope you find that perfect amount. And you don't go too far. I go too far a lot. See ya. It's a thing. It's a thing. But at least I'm not driving a car. I'm just driving a camera. And I will disappear so quick. I'm trying to make like an emphatic ending. I don't know how to end shit. I'm going to disappear on three. B. A.